Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt child to lose citizenship. The Law Society of Namibia on Friday said, should the Namibian Citizenship Amendment Bill be passed into law, Hollywood actress, Angelina Jolie Pitt's daughter, Shiloh's, citizenship would be revoked. Advocate, Easy Shimming Chase, said this in her submission to the National Council Select Committee, on the Namibian Citizenship Amendment Bill. Angelina Jolie Pitt and her husband, actor Brad Pitt, came to Namibia in 2006 for the birth of their daughter who was granted Namibian citizenship, even though they were not ordinarily resident in Namibia. According to the proposed amendments, all those granted citizenship by birth when their parents did not have permanent residence in the country will lose its status. The proposed amendments came after the Supreme Court ruled on 23 June that a child born to a Dutch couple, who are in Namibia on work permits should be granted citizenship. In a bid to circumvent the Supreme Court's order to grant the child a birth certificate within 30 days, the Home Affairs Ministry and the Attorney General's Office ought to amend the law. Home Affairs Minister, Pandukeni Uvila Ithana, has already pushed the amendments through the National Assembly, but the National Council called for expert legal opinion on the proposal. Various experts who spoke before the committee said, this poses a serious challenge to the country's democracy, while some members of the public agreed with the proposed changes, citing fears of having a foreigner as a Namibian president if anyone could become a Namibian by birth. Shuming Che said, the idea behind her question is to point out how unfair it is not to give citizenship to someone whose parents has been living in the country, even though they are not permanent residents. The bill has more far-reaching consequences than what is anticipated. Imagine, what happens to everyone who has been born in Namibia after independence but whose parents are not permanent residents? She asked. Lawyer Norman Jom, said the proposed amendments seek to deprive Namibian citizens of their automatic right to citizenship the moment they are born. He said although Article 4 of the Constitution provides room for Parliament, to make further laws regulating the acquisition and loss of Namibian citizenship, it also limits such powers. This, John said, means that Parliament shall not deprive the citizenship of a person who is Namibian by birth or by descent. He also said national security claims are misplaced, and that the bill would be discriminatory to all people, who each have their own circumstances. John said each case should be dealt with according to its facts. He gave the example where two individuals are seeking citizenship and one wants to make Namibia their home, while the other has no connection to the country. According to him, the one who wants to make Namibia their home is most likely to succeed. Attorney General, Saki Shanghala, confirmed to the Namibian last week, that he initially recommended to Cabinet, that the Constitution be amended to address the concerns the government had, as a result of the Supreme Court's decision. Shanghala said, Cabinet agreed to have the Constitution changed, but later reversed its decision, and decided to rely on the Constitution's article, which says a decision of the Supreme Court would be binding unless it is reversed by the Court itself, or is contradicted by an Act of Parliament which was lawfully enacted. Other legal experts who made presentations to the Select Committee are, the Legal Assistant Center Directors, Tony Hancocks. University of Namibia law professor, Nico Horn, and Ombudsman John Walters.